sit there and listen to you, mm-hmm. right? And entertain them. And I, one thing that, that I learned that is, is ringing true with what you're saying uh, a long time ago is people don't necessarily know or care what, what you're saying. It's how you made them feel. That's right. what they'll remember, and that's what they'll, mm-hmm. they'll what will resonate with them long term. Right. So. And it, it works in, on stage. It works in relationships. I mean, obviously, both of us are married. I don't remember what my first conversation was with my wife. I know how she made me feel, <laughs> That's but right. I don't remember the conversation. Right. Not, I'm not going to tell her it's not important, but it's not important. Right? right. And it's, it's, you know, another rule of thumb is you want to make, make them smile, laugh, and think. Like, and that... Not just once, but that's the cadence. Yeah. Make them smile, laugh, and think. Make them smile, Set laugh, the and think. Make it right. And yeah. I here's a, here's a trick: watch stand-up comedians, because if you think about it, a stand-up comedian goes to, gets on stage, he or she, and the audience is there to laugh. But what do they do? You're not going to make me laugh. So he literally had he or she had about ten to fifteen seconds just to get them to oh he he or she might be funny to open up. As a speaker, it's the exact same. You got to tell a quick story, yeah, right, yeah. and make them not feel like they're being sold. Well, you think about it. The 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 best speeches you've ever heard. You you think you know there was times where I, I was ready to cry, and there's oh, times yeah. that where I was I was chuckling, and then there's things that you took away, things you remember. So true. And so true. Yeah, the, the entertainment value always has to be there. Speaking is eighty percent entertainment, twenty percent education. And. I've, I've never heard that before, but that's, that's a, yeah, absolutely true, in, in my experience anyways. Because look at the speakers that you don't like. Not that you don't like. Have you ever seen a speaker, you're in the audience, and you're so embarrassed for them, and you're just like, oh, he's only five minutes in of a 30-minute talk. <laughs> oh, and you see them struggling, that it takes reps to get to the point of being able to orate and shift with your audience. I told you when we were off air that I don't use a PowerPoint. Yeah. Right. And I don't use a PowerPoint because if I solely practice with a PowerPoint and then I get to an engagement, even if the PowerPoint works, but the audience, it, it, it just doesn't match the level of attendance, I have to learn to shift. Sure. And a lot of speakers, they make the mistake of standing behind a lectern or they stick to one side of the stage. I don't care how high the stage is, an audience of less than 400 people, I'm going to walk into the audience. Right, and then learning how to throw your voice, learning microphone placement. Sure. There's just all these things that people, out of nerves, they'll get to the stage, get to the mic, and they'll leave it right here. And they will squeak like you see their knuckles turn white. And then their <laughs> lips get dry. If your lips get dry, right before you go on stage, take chapstick and put it on your teeth. It stops your lips from sticking. Hmm. Right, you wouldn't know. Interesting right? tip as well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I am a coach, so in, yeah, in speaking, right. yeah. I would hope you don't know all of these tips no, and yeah. tricks. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, and, and, and it stems from, uh, I, th- I think if, if a speaker, no matter what their content is, can go to like junior high or elementary school, or maybe you go to a church, you can speak to a children's church, find an audience that doesn't know that you don't know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. And if you can keep their attention, you'll win adults over every single time. Doing good. Interesting. Yeah. 